Crab and the Hunter will hit theaters on October the 6th. The movie will talk about his upbringing, but there's a strong possibility that they'll finally form the Sinister Six. Fan trailers are popping up left and right, but there's still no word from Sony about Kraven and the trailer for the movie. Other Marvel and DC movies would have released entire plot lines and teased their trailers by now, but not Sony. They're keeping very quiet, and it's starting to bother some people. Some are saying this gives them bad vibes about the upcoming movie, while we think that they're just trying to build hype and curiosity around the new Spider-Man supervillain. Some fans have even suggested that the movie is going to be very different from Venom and Morbius, which were pretty disastrous to tell you the truth. People think the reason Sony hasn't released any teasers of behind-the-scenes footage is precisely because they think the movie is going to be more successful than some of their previous Marvel-related anti-heroes. Some even pointed out that Aaron Taylor Johnson said Kraven is an animal lover and protector of nature. Um, have you not seen what Kraven looks like? Seriously, take any comic book issue featuring Kraven the Hunter and you will see him dressed in animal hides. The man killed, skinned, and is now wearing a lion skin on his back. How in the world does that tell you he's an animal lover? And if they're trying to turn Kraven into an anti-hero, we would urge them to look at Morbius and how well that movie turned out. And don't even get us started on the memes. But all joking aside, what are some of the few things we know about Kraven the Hunter? Well, we know that Sergei Kravinov, also known as Kraven the Hunter, is one of Spider-Man's most popular villains from the comics. Such agility, such grace, truly pray-worthy of Sergei Kravinov. Why they didn't include him in any of the Spider-Man movies so far is beyond us. Oh wait, that's right, they talked about him briefly in the 2014 The Amazing Spider-Man 2. From the comics, we know that Kravinov is a big game hunter of Russian nobility. However, in 1917, he fled Russia and went to Africa, where he started smashing that like button, just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, that's where he began hunting animals and got his superhuman strength. He became vastly wealthy thanks to his ability to track down and kill any animal upon request. However, Kraven the Hunter found out about Spider-Man, the only animal human he has yet to capture. He vowed to kill the red and blue superhero in hopes of becoming the best hunter in the entire world. You cannot shake Sergei Kravinov so easily. Hey, Spidey never does anything easy. So, as we've already mentioned, director Mark Webb already talked about Kraven in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 in 2014. He even came out and said that he would like to do a standalone movie featuring Kraven as the main hero. However, it took Sony three years after the release of the Spider-Man movie before they became interested in a Kraven the Hunter movie. Good boy, Kuyatki. Just one year after negotiations began, in August 2018, Richard Wenk, the writer and director behind movies like The Equalizer franchise, Vamp, Just the Ticket, Renegades, and others, was tasked to write the screenplay for Crab and the Hunter. Once the screenplay was written, Sony came out in 2019 and said that they're officially developing a movie featuring Kraven. And we even found out that Sony wasn't the only one who wants to make a film about Kraven. Ryan Coogler wanted to make a Kraven movie and introduce him to Marvel's Black Panther. However, this was before Coogler knew that Sony owned the rights to this famous Marvel Comics villain. For now, we know that Aaron Taylor Johnson is going to be playing Kraven the Hunter, but we also know that he wasn't Sony's first choice. We know that the production company approached Adam Driver, Keanu Reeves, John D. Washington, and even Brad Pitt for the role. But then they saw Johnson in the trailer for Bullet Train and immediately fell in love with the actor. After doing a little digging around, they found out that he was also the lead in Kick-Ass and he played Pietro Maximoff in the Avengers Age of Ultron. With one Marvel role under his belt, they knew they'd found their Kraven. So the next thing they had to do was offer him the role, hoping he would accept. Not only did Tater accept the role of Kraven the Hunter in this movie, but he agreed to play the same character in any upcoming Marvel movie. So does this mean we could see Kraven the Hunter leading the Sinister Six as he did in the comic books? Or is he going to team up with Venom and Morbius and hopefully take Spider-Man head on? That's something we'll have to talk about in a few minutes. Now, let's see who else is going to be joining Kraven the Hunter. At first, everyone thought that Jodie Turner-Smith would be playing Calypso Kraven's love interest. However, it was recently announced that Academy Award-winning actress Ariana DeBose will be taking on the role of this voodoo priestess. If Debosi brings her A-game to Kraven the Hunter, as she did in the West Side Story, then we know there's going to be one hell of a love story between her and Kraven. Just like any other movie, this one has to have villains. 
For this, the casting directors signed Christopher Nolan and Alessandra Nivola. According to our sources, Abbott is gonna smash that subscribe button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, seriously now, he'll be playing the foreigner, one of Kraven's most popular enemies, and in this movie, he'll be the main villain. He's famous for his portrayal of Mason Tanetti in The Sinner. If you like dramedies, you'll also know him from HBO's Girls. Alessandro Nivola, on the other hand, will be playing an undisclosed villain. You might recognize him from Nicolas Cage's Face Off, where he played Pollux Troy. Most recently, he was part of Amsterdam, where he played alongside Margot Robbie and Christian Bale. We know that Fred Hetchinger is going to be playing Dmitry Smerdikov, Kraven's half-brother, also known as Chameleon. If he's anything like in the comics, then we're going to see him transforming and impersonating basically anyone he pleases. Another actor that is going to be playing an undisclosed role is Levi Miller, who is the current up-and-coming star in Hotshot in Hollywood. Also, Russell Crowe is going to be playing Kraven's father in the movie. From what we've heard, the movie is going to focus on Kraven's bringing up story. We're going to see how he fled Russia, how he fended for himself in the cruel world, and we're going to witness his transformation into one of the smartest, most successful hunters in the entire world. In that case, Russell Crowe's role will only be a minor one. Speaking of the plotline, we heard that Sony released a short preview of Kraven the Hunter at CinemaCon in April 2022. Hearing some of the fans' testimonies, we know that Kraven was running through the snow, and then he was holding onto the side of a moving car. Do with that what you will. Other than that, we don't know anything else about the plot. We're hoping to see Kraven finally going head-to-head -head with his favorite prey, Spider-Man, but it seems like that's not gonna happen. Who knew that Kraven would be stopped by an MCU contract? Then again, we don't know what Sony and Marvel have planned for us. Maybe they'll allow Kraven to capture Spider-Man, his so-called White Whale. Or maybe Kraven the Hunter will finally form the Sinister Six, a league of supervillains consisting of Kraven, Dr. Octopus, Venom, Vulture, Electro, and Vulture. It seems like that's where the movie is headed, since they introduced almost all of these supervillains already. What worries us is the fact that CBR recently published an article titled, Sony's next Spider-Man spin-off is already being written off. That's not what you want to hear when making a new movie. CBR pointed out that the movie has basically no promotion since Sony announced they were working on it in 2017. When you consider the fact that they pushed back the release date from January 13th to October 6th and virtually nothing is known about the movie, even we're starting to wonder if this anti-hero is gonna succeed. See you in the next video.